Uh, so when I took this uh, my engine out to get this one in, I only had three of the bolts that hold the engine on. There's only four. There were only three. Only two of them were tight. At work yesterday, I found this on the floor in my machine. And it fits. So that means whenever we get this back in, it will also be part 2000's Flexo 86 box folding machine. Because that's what that bolt came off of. And it threads right on there. <laughs> Man, them bugs are loud. What do we got left here? Tin work mostly. Tin work. And the, you know, getting this whole situation together. We're gonna get the generator back on and the wiring, which I did a couple videos of the wiring, so I'm gonna have to watch those myself. Junk. Yeah, generator. I tested everything else, you know, the lights and stuff should should work and the radio should work. I'm not worried about stupid stuff, but I still got you know, the exhaust to put on. It's just kind of mocked up right now. I've never had it on a car. I'm excited about that. That's gonna be cool. Let's side side. So that should be cool. There's a few things left. Yeah, almost there. I got some parts coming tomorrow. Something like that. More parts. Intake goodness. I still got a bucket of bolts and crap to deal with. Bolts and things. Small stuff. Got the engine put in. Come here. Galley. What you doing? <laughs> what are you doing, cat? You live here now? Is this yours? I'll just leave the door open. I know. <laughs> Should be good. <clears throat> See, I got. I got. I mean, I can probably redo the thing twice at this point. Tell these damn gaskets I got. So yeah. There's my regulator. I'll need that too. We'll need that. That's going to be a required component in about a day or so. I probably would have got more done, but the first day I got the engine in, the next day I had a headache all day, and it was raining all day anyway, so I didn't really do much. See, this one fits real nice. This one doesn't fit so nice yet. I might have to tweak that one a little bit. I got the back shroud, you know, sort of on there. Kind of, kind of bent a little weird, but I think that happens, especially when you're mix matching tins. And I'm going to a dual port. Still got to find a proper carburetor for that, but hopefully my junk will work for, for now just to get me to work. All right. Good job, cat. Couldn't do it without you, bud. <laughs> 